All right, 29D. I'm gonna, again, solve this the same way I've been doing the other ones here. This time, I don't know the first or the second term, but I know the third term is 18. I don't know the fourth, fifth, sixth, but I do know that the seventh term is 9 eighths. To go from 18 to 9 eighths, I multiplied by our R value once, twice, three times, four times. So 18 R to the fourth is equal to 9 eighths. And if I divide that through here, okay, I'll get R to the fourth, ouch, sorry, is equal to 1 16th. And if I take the fourth root of that, I will get, uh, whoops, I'm just going to write that as one quarter, but I meant one half. And here we got to be really careful, plus or minus one half. Okay, because I'm taking an even root, I don't know whether the positive or the negative root was implied there. Which, which means there are other options to consider here. Um, now, this is positive, which means, okay, this is positive, which means this would be negative, positive. Negative, positive, negative, positive. Okay, see, I don't know. I can't tell by looking at that. Now, that's so regardless, r is a half. The, the numeric value is a half, whether it's positive or negative. If you go backwards from that, it's like multiplying by two. Okay, so we're gonna go 18 times two times two, and that's gonna get us out here to 72. So the first term here, a would have to be 72. Okay, and again, that's just me going backwards because when I go forwards this way, I'm multiplying by a half. It's going backwards, I'm gonna be multiplying by two. So this means Tn, our general term, will equal 72 times, well, I don't know whether that's plus or minus a half, so I'm gonna put both down there uh, to kind of sidestep the ambiguity, and that's the general term that I'm looking for.